Hey everyone, we have a busy day ahead of us here at the Untamed Festival at Science Centre Singapore. Wow, the weather looks pretty good for today. But uh, just to be on the safe side, let me check the weather forecast. I'm a Vesta from the Meteorological Service Singapore, bringing you today's weather update. We are looking at thundery showers in the late afternoon and evening today, with light winds blowing in from the southwest. The temperature is expected to range from 24 to 33 degrees Celsius. It looks to be a warm and humid afternoon ahead. Huh? Warm and humid again? I've been sweating so much lately, I think I'm about to become Singapore's fifth national tap. It must be climate change. Hang on Danny, I think you must be confusing weather and climate. Don't they mean the same thing? Not exactly. Weather is used to describe hour-to-hour -hour or day-to-day -day variations in the atmosphere, while climate is a long-term study of average weather conditions. Right, so if I understood you rightly, there may be small fluctuations in the weather daily. It could be sunny one day and rain the next. But if we were to study these weather patterns over a longer period of time, that could give us useful information about the climate. That's correct. And when we talk about climate change, it refers to a change in these climate statistics. Often, we would assess longer periods of more than 30 years to really determine if there's been a change in these statistics. Let's head over now to our central forecast office where I can show you more. Great! Hey Avista, does forecasting the weather involve a magic crystal ball? Not at all. Here at our forecasting office, we rely heavily on our network of meteorological observation stations measuring not just the rainfall and temperature, but also wind, pressure and humidity. Some of these measurements are then fed into computer models that are used to forecast what will likely happen in the days ahead. Singapore lies in the deep tropics, making its weather, meteorologically speaking, quite chaotic. Oh, chaotic as in crazy and unpredictable? No, this doesn't mean that it's crazy. Rather, it means that a small difference in the starting point of these models can mean a huge difference to the weather forecast a couple of days ahead. MSS has our own computer models, developed specifically for the tropics, and our researchers are constantly hard at work to improve its accuracy, making the best use of our observation network. Ah, when I mentioned a network of observations, I was imagining like a group of secret agents collecting intel around Singapore. Not at all. Come, follow me. So, when you mention a network of observations, you have to remember that Singapore's weather is not isolated from the rest of the world. We have data shared by other meteorological agencies. In fact, we also have observations from space in the form of satellite observations as you see here. Nice, that looks like a bird's eye view of the region. That's right. Satellite images help us perceive clouds from above and gives us a top-down view. Now, let me bring you to one of our secret agents that help us gather all of this data. Great, let's go. Over there, we have our automated weather station, which measures various weather data such as temperature, rainfall and humidity. An automated weather station! Amazing! How does it work? Well, it's situated in a wide open area, away from shadows or trees, that may affect the sensor readings. These measure temperature and humidity, and are fitted with radiation shields because the thermometers inside are very sensitive. This is an anemometer, and it measures wind speed and directions. And this is a rain gauge, and it enables us to measure rainwater in millimetres. Wow, are all these instruments used to measure the weather or the climate? It depends, and it can be both. For weather, a single measurement or measurements over a day will help us with our immediate forecasting. This data can help us determine the average rainfall in the month of October or the probability that a single day's temperature can reach 34 degrees. Analyzing these trends is part of the job of a meteorologist. My colleague Thea from the Center for Climate Research will be happy to share more with you. I look forward to meeting Thea. Hey Thea, what's going on over here? Hi Jenny, perfect timing. We're just prepping for the release of the weather balloon. Did you know we've been doing this since the 1950s? No way. Yeah, we release a weather balloon twice a day, every day. It carries a radio sound, which is comprised of sensors that measure meteorological parameters such as temperature, relative humidity, winds, and pressure at various levels of the atmosphere up to 33 kilometers. This data is instrumental for us learning about the tropical atmosphere, as well as used for weather forecasts. I learned from Avesta that our tropical weather can be particularly tricky to predict with accuracy. It can shift from sunny conditions to a stormy one, just like that. With sudden fluctuations in the weather within a day or across the week, 
is it possible to achieve reliable predictions of what we can expect um, over the next few weeks or even months? Investors right. Our tropical atmosphere is very chaotic, so we can't just run our computer models at once and see what happens. Rather, we have to run them multiple times and use multiple models and see if there's a pattern in the results or a change in statistics. Changes in land cover, in the oceans, or the amount of greenhouse gases all affect our climate. Here at the Centre for Climate Research Singapore, we use all this information to develop better seasonal predictions for the next few months, as well as research longer-term changes over many years and decades, also known as climate change. It has been raining buckets of late. Sometimes it can rain even the whole day. Is this an effect of climate change? While the average condition over a few weeks might not be considered weather, it's still a little bit too much of a leap to jump to climate change. Wetter periods or drier periods could be due to change of seasons or other interactions between the ocean and the atmosphere. Sunny Singapore has seasons? Uh, yes, you may be surprised to learn that Singapore does indeed have seasons. Although not your typical winter-summer seasons, rather two monsoon seasons separated by inter-monsoon periods. Do check out Let's Ask MSS on YouTube to learn more. Thanks so much for showing us around the Central Forecast Office and the Upper Air Observatory. At Science Centre, we have an interesting exhibition called the Earth Alive, and it can complement what we've learned today. It reflects the Earth sciences and systems, such as the geosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. Let's go have a look, shall we? Great. I'll go grab a vester. Welcome to Science Centre Singapore. We're in the Earth Alive exhibition, which covers lots of interesting phenomena. If you turn around, you'll see that this is the sea level rise section. Let's find out how this phenomenon impacts Singapore. Let's take a look. Long-term changes in sea level are considered an impact of climate change and an important one for Singapore. Although we also have short-term fluctuations in sea level. I'm sure you're familiar with the tides. But sea level also varies depending on the time of year. At MSS, we consider various time scales. Climate research spends decades worth of data. It allows us to chart a course for the future in terms of mitigating and adapting to a changing world, while weather forecasting plays a role in keeping the public informed as they go about their daily lives. Weather and climate are both vital in our everyday lives. Weather governs the here and now. While climate informs us of the statistics of the weather, what's usual or the chance of an extreme event. However, the climate is changing, and what was unusual 50 years ago might not be so unusual now. Climate change is a global challenge that requires a global response. What we do today will determine if we have a sustainable future tomorrow. And that's it for today. Don't forget to answer a quiz about this video on the Untamed online platform to complete your mission. And check out other videos by Meteorological Service Singapore. Stay tuned for more exciting videos, missions and activities coming your way in Untamed 2021 Rebooting Our World. This is Danny. Avesta. See ya. Signing out. Stay curious, stay untamed.